Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's meal prep day. Today's meal prep is all about the protein. All three recipes are high protein, which you guys know I have a very lofty protein goal every day. So whatever meals I can add lots of protein to, I am here for it. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. We do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. I'll give you a protein goal so you know what to shoot for every day. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump in to three high protein recipes. breakfast this week, I'm making a turkey sausage breakfast casserole. I was going to do a chicken sausage, but I had ground turkey on hand, and with the price of meat, I decided to use what I had on hand. So we're going to be using ground turkey. You could also do ground chicken. Let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need some light shredded cheese, some light crescent rolls. These are the 90 calorie from Pillsbury. You'll need a brown sugar alternative of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto Golden. It is my favorite. To me, it tastes the most like regular brown sugar. I just really like it. It's a healthier alternative to sugar substitutes. I'll make sure I link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off. You're going to need some liquid egg whites, a pound of ground turkey or ground chicken, Parmesan cheese, and some spices to create the sausage. So we'll need some salt and pepper. As always, I'll link these gravity-fed salt and pepper grinders down below. Obsessed with these, I got these off of Amazon. And then you'll need some sage, smoked paprika, and allspice, and also some crushed red pepper, which I'm omitting because I don't love spice. So let's get started on breakfast. So the first thing we're going to do is put together the turkey sausage. So I have a pound of 93% ground turkey. You could also use 99%. We're going to add salt and pepper. About a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. And about a half of a teaspoon of sage. Two tablespoons of your brown sugar alternative. And then mix that all together really well. This is the turkey sausage. I added a skillet to the stovetop with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add in the turkey sausage mixture and we're going to cook it until it is completely cooked through. This smells so delicious, I cannot even tell you. So we are just about ready to start assembling the casserole now that the ground turkey is done cooking. So I have a six by nine baking dish. We're going to add the ground turkey to the bottom. And then we're going to open up the can of crescent rolls, which is my least favorite part ever. Okay, these ones came out the end, which is interesting. We're basically going to break our crescent rolls up into pieces and place them right on top of the ground turkey. Then we're going to kind of press the crescent rolls down so that they actually have contact with the ground turkey. Two cups of egg whites, which is this entire small container, or 16 ounces. And then I have three quarters of a cup of light shredded cheese and one quarter cup of Parmesan. And we're gonna add that right to the top. We're going to put it into a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. We want to make sure that the egg whites are cooked through and the crescent rolls. The turkey sausage skillet is out of the oven. This looks so incredibly delicious. It smells 
really, really good as well. I will go ahead and put points, calories, serving sizes here on the screen for you. I'm going to pair this with some fruit for a protein packed, delicious, healthy breakfast. For my lunch this week, I am making a low carb ground beef taco bowl. The only carbs in this come from the beans, which is a great source of carbohydrates, slow digesting, they even have fiber and protein. So let me show you what's in lunch. First you're going to need a green bell pepper, half of an onion, I'm going to add some avocado. This is an addition if you want to add it. Same with the salsa, you can really add whatever toppings you want to your bowl. A pound of 96% extra extra lean ground beef. I'm going to be adding some black beans, taco seasoning, salt, pepper, your favorite greens. I'm going to use this romaine up and then I'll be switching over to a mixture of spinach and romaine. You could really use whatever greens you want. So let's get started on lunch. Go ahead and add your pound of 96% ground beef to a skillet, break it up, and we want to make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. While the ground beef is cooking, we're going to go ahead and chop up the half of an onion and the green bell pepper. Once your ground beef is about cooked through, I mean 95%, we're going to add in our chopped up green bell pepper and onion and allow those to cook down until translucent. Once your veggies are softened, we're going to add a packet of taco seasoning, a little bit of water and mix that together, allow it to heat through. So I wanna show you how I plan on assembling the bowls. We're going to assemble one that I will actually have for lunch today. And then throughout the week, all of my components are pre-made. This is really important for prepping. So I have my protein source done. I have my carb and additional protein source ready to go. My greens, all the toppings, all the good things that I wanna put on my low carb taco bowl. So we are going to start with a bed of greens. And of course you can use any of your favorite greens. This recipe makes four servings total. So I'm going to take one quarter of the taco seasoned ground beef and add that to my bowl. This is a good amount of the ground beef. I mean, this is really going to give you a big, big punch of protein. And then I want about a quarter cup of black beans. And then I'm going to add salsa. Salsa is zero points, so go ahead and add as much as you would like. I am going to add a little salt and pepper just onto my beans. And then right before I eat the bowl, I'll go ahead and slice up probably about a quarter of this avocado. I usually just weigh it out in grams on my food scale. And then I may even top it with a little bit of sour cream as well. But doesn't that look so good? I mean, this is packed, 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 packed packed with protein. This is a good size serving for the points and calories. I will go ahead and put those here on the screen for you. And remember, you can add whatever toppings you want. Just really focus on getting in a good source of protein, healthy carbs, and fiber. For a protein packed sweet treat this week, I'm making protein coconut balls. I'm really excited for these. I love having these protein balls on hand. Pop them in your mouth, easy to go, quick, easy snack. You can take them with you. They're portable, they're great for work, sports, school. So I'm really excited to have another batch this week. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First you're going to need some protein powder. You can use any protein powder that you want. I'm going to go with the vanilla base with my integrated nutrition. I'll link this down below for you. You'll need some rolled oats, sliced almonds, unsweetened coconut flakes, fresh strawberries, and some medjool dates. 
So we're ready to start the protein balls. This is super easy. You can do this in a food processor. I do not have a food processor. We actually sold it when we moved from Washington to Arizona. So I'm just going to use my magic bullet. This works just as well and it's versatile. I can use this for smoothies, for this type of recipe. I'll link my magic bullet down below for you guys. But what I did is I added one cup of pitted Medjool dates. Now let's talk for a second about the great date debate. Some people count points for these, some people don't, depending on how you search for them in the WW app. Some of the dates give you points, some of them don't. I choose not to track dates. They are, in my opinion, a dried fruit without any added sugar, so I count them as zero points. When you click on the link on my recipe website, it is going to show the dates as zero points. If you want to add points for the dates, then just go ahead and rebuild the recipe in your app so that it's personalized to you. I just want to remind you guys that WW is a tool. It is a tool for us to use for weight loss and we can make tweaks and changes and utilize the tool in any way that actually works for us. And I have never counted points for date. So now that we have the great date debate out of the way, let's get this ready to go. So again, one cup of pitted medjool dates. I'm going to add one half of a cup of rolled oats, three quarters of a cup of slivered almonds. I'm going to give that an initial blend before I add in my strawberries and my protein powder. Now I'm going to add in my four medium strawberries that I sliced up and then give it another quick blend. I'm going to add my one scoop of protein powder and then give it one last blend. I went ahead and added a second scoop of protein powder to it once I finished blending it in my magic bullet. This protein powder is actually two scoops as a serving and that's also going to help thicken it up a little bit. We want it to be kind of a paste type of texture and then we're going to throw this in our refrigerator for about an hour and allow it to firm up a little bit before rolling it into balls. One hour later. So into a shallow bowl I put half of a cup of the unsweetened coconut flakes. I just pulled the protein ball mixture out of the fridge and then I have a plate here to put them on once we roll them in the coconut. So the recipe makes 12 protein balls. So we're going to take some of the mixture, roll it into a ball, and then we're going to roll it into the coconut flakes and set it on the plate. So I just finished the coconut protein balls. These look really, really good. These definitely could firm up a little bit more. So I'm just going to cover them with some saran wrap throw them back into the refrigerator, but look how delicious these look with the roll, rolled in the coconut. 12 protein balls, only two points per ball. Like I said, a great, portable, easy to take with you snack. for joining me on this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are excited for three very high protein recipes. As always, they are on my website. I'll link that down in the description box. Along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my very favorite things, my Facebook group, come join us there. All the information is down in the description box for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. I would love, love, love to have you here. Happy Monday, friends. Here is to a protein-filled, fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.